Well, I have a diagram here is the entire book that we're studying, Developing a Leader with a New 2.0. The visual image to me makes it clear what we are discussing and how the progression is going in the class. So last week we started with the idea of growth. Axel was talking about if you're going to become a leader, if you're going to become a better leader, you need to make a commitment to growth. It's not something that happens in a day, it's a process that takes place over months, over years. But it really starts with a commitment to grow. So what I'm talking about it initially is the part that's inside, the internal, that's within us. Maxwell talks throughout the book that we have to develop ourselves first, we have to lead ourselves first, we have to discipline ourselves first before we can ever begin to think about leading other people and influencing them. How can we ask someone else to do what we don't do? That's part of integrity. <coughs> That's one of the foundations we're going to be talking about tonight, is that we are who we say we are, we do what we say we do, our words, our bonds, we, people can trust who we are based on knowing us. And when people trust you, then they're willing to follow you. So this is part of integrity, we're going to be talking more about this later in the class. Integrity and character. You know, we build a solid foundation, like you build a house has a concrete foundation. They used to have just houses sitting on the ground, and then they went, went to piers and posts. That was a little better. Now the perimeter foundation, that's some, the solid contemporary foundation that most people use today. Well, just like a house has a foundation, we have to build our leadership on the foundation of character and integrity. But this is the foundation of our leadership. The foundation of our values, that people know that we're solid, we're on a solid foundation. They know that they can trust who we are. So once you set your your values and your 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 character and your integrity, you have to set your priorities. When we we'll talking about that tonight, what's important? Everything is important. Some people operate that way. They say everything is important, but the fact is that we are limited with the amount of time and energy that we have. So we have to set priorities. We have to decide what is the most important thing to do today. What are, um, Maxwell talks about the top 20%. We focus, if you make a list of things that you need to do and work on the top 20% of those things and spend most of your time, say 80%, you're gonna get a lot more results by focusing on the most important things than you are if you scatter your efforts throughout the list. And some things, he said, you don't need to do it all. You know, just focus on the things that are more important. In order to do that, you have to be self-disciplined, and we'll be talking about that tonight. You have to develop good habits. You have to be organized. You have to know what you want to do and when you're going to do it. So this is all internal. And the scripture I have for this is, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philip, Philippians 4, verse 1. Positive attitude, and this goes throughout. So once you have the foundation, then you begin to express yourself out in the world. You have, a, you have your foundation, you have a positive attitude as you build your foundation. That's a, a key to being successful as a leader, it's having a positive foundation. And then you come out of yourself and you begin to influence people around you, people in, the, in your family, in your church, in your business. And how do you influence people? You begin to create positive change. We'll be talking about that. You solve problems for people. And people are drawn to you because they see you as a problem solver and they see that you're good at what you do. You develop people, you develop relationships. We talked about the levels of leadership last week. You develop positive relationships with people so people work for you because they want to, not because they have to, but because they want to. And then at a higher level, they work for you because of what you've done for them. And all of this has a positive attitude. We'll be talking about how important it is to have a positive attitude because your attitude affects the people under you. So if you have a negative attitude, the people who follow you are going to be negative. They're not going to want to do anything. But if you're positive and not being optimistic, 
your, your people that are following you are going to also capture that same vision, that same dynamic, that same energy. And then this leads to the ultimate, the vision. Where are you going? What is the vision you have for yourself and your leadership? And if you're working for a company, what is the vision you have for your department?